another episode on the channel of high e exam points for fmg june 2021 today what we'll be discussing is um the subject surgery because i got a lot of requests for covering surgery and gynae i guess so today what we will be doing is doing surgery and very soon i will try to do it as soon as possible we'll be covering obs and gynae as well so let's dive into it so um this surgery video is basically um, designed according to when you have one month of exam left and you think you are not prepared enough for surgery and you cannot finish whole of the surgery in one go so uh, i have decided to uh, declutter it for you and put in only high yield points for um, you to finish the surgery in just 3 days because uh, in a month less than a month time it's not easy to pick up a new subject or a big big subject and get done with it and be confident in the end as well that yes you have studied enough so what i'll be discussing today is the very very high yield topics and very important things which you need to focus upon so towards the end of the video um what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you the strategy for last one day uh preparation as well that if you only had one day to prepare your whole surgery uh how you should approach it and what things you should read and what you shouldn't go for so stick till the end and we'll discuss that as well so what i have done is i have divided the uh, the three day study into five major chunks out of which majority of the question comes see what we are going to do is we are not going to study everything because if you want a 100% score in surgery then you shouldn't be watching this but since you are here so i presume you need to know only the high yield stuff because um, surgery is really important subject and very high yield as well on its own if you study surgery really really well from before like properly everything then the scoring is really good you get a lot of marks out of it but in case you didn't get the time for some reason or you couldn't do it then this video is for you so what we are going to do is we are only studying this five major topics major subsections which i can say for to and, and trust me to crack your exam you just need this five subsections to to be understood well so these are git git is the major major portion of surgery it is the biggest one in the surgery urology general trauma and breast general general surgery we often tend to ignore but these days with the change in pattern there have been lots of lo- lots and lots of questions from general surgery so you you shouldn't be ignoring those because you will utilize less time and get high yield like much much better high yield from general as well so let's go so what uh, marrow faculty said is important most important in surgery is the stable which i have given here the uh, dr rohan khandelwal sir have been uh, telling in his videos and uh, things from last year i think this is from last year when i was preparing for it so what major topics is important according to the marrow faculty is classification of the wound shock iv lines of course suture breast very important of course thyroid esophagus and stomach bowel obstruction renal disorder kidney testicular disorders uh, vascular arterial and venous hernia venous and hernia bariatric surgery so this is like uh, nothing in detail is just the major topic for the chapter name but no detail has been given in as such so what we're going to do is we're going to add some specific points to it which i feel is very important and which i have researched upon uh, a lot and i think you should you should go um, to exam after reading those only so what we're going to add is gcs in burn we are going to add valis rule of 9 and graphs the type of graphs and graphs is very important practical aspect has been um, asked quite a lot of times these days so you cannot afford to miss any practical aspect you can get your hand on breast is of course very important benign and malignant i have put the breast category into a different um, um section as a subsection because uh, because you need to focus on it really really good you cannot say a particular thing is c- going to come from breast breast in itself is very important as a whole topic is very important hernia hernia you have to read it as well because one question every year tends to come from hernia as well thyroid cancer and surgical complications to be specific vascular every time two questions come from vascular so vascular you have to spell in vascular dic dvt those things will come your iv lines color coding of course 
they tend to ask this question many times nowadays they love this kind of question these days police surgical positions and incision names these these three things are like from general part but you have to have a hold on them what you're going to do in urology is these topics urology has a huge chunk as well as well as git but um, urology is a little bit lesser than git i feel and you can cover it in one day if you want to so if you have three days to study let's go back to here if you have three days to study how are you going to approach it so first day you will do git and git will be exhausting i'm telling you but it will be interesting because half of the things you already know if you have ever studied surgery in your college or your professional exams for your profs then you are going to know that um, some things in git it, it won't be like an alien topic for you so you can finish even though git is pretty big you can still finish git in one day and the important topics i'm going to give you soon second day what you can do is you can go for urology and general together urology is not that big and i'm going to give you major i'm i'm going to give you the major topics which you need to uh, revise so go for urology and general together and then on the third day go for trauma and breast you cannot afford to miss trauma and breast either of those if i would have to tell you to study only two subjects so you two topics out of surgery the whole subject then i would tell you to go for trauma and breast because there are short short questions coming from trauma and breast and it's much much more um less time consuming to finish trauma and breast in spite of git covering up git but you have to cover git as well so one day one day for git one day for uro and general together and one day for trauma and breast so that's how you should be going about it for three if you have to prepare surgery for three days so let's go for urology topics urology topics we have ipv appearance of horseshoe polycystic kidney is important you need to see posterior urethral wall then hypospadias is important undescended testes undescended testes uh, question has come quite frequently so please uh, make sure you know what things are there to be understood in this another is urinary stones bps treatment and complication hemostasis priapism and penile cancer is important as well and testicular torsion what you have to do in git as i as i already said the git is huge 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 but you have to have to have to do it there is no way you can miss git one day you have to give for git out of three days so git mein you have to do motility phases of digestion git hormones the basics basics are also important this will cover your physiology as well if you have read read these things in your physiology then this is going to be very easy for you in esophagus you have to go for uh, tracheoesophageal fistula they tend to ask one question here and there very often from this um, topic another is your achalasia gerd gerd is really important and its complications of course uh, also you will do zenkos diverticulum it's very um, repetitive topic they like zenkos diverticulum very much so i don't think you should miss on that next is your stomach in stomach you have to go for pyloric stenosis and the signs and symptoms and um, uh, characteristic features of it mallory v steer the mallory v steer is not that big uh, of a topic but you should you should know about it then the difference the table between peptic ulcer and gastric uh, peptic ulcer and your uh, in which peptic ulcer which will have duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer of course so uh, i would suggest you go for a table version which we almost all, all of us have it like in our notes and everything there is only the table thing which we have uh, between gastric and uh, duodenal ulcer so go through it and your gastric cancer gastric cancer is very important i i am going to tell you in the coming slides what is the most important thing in gastric cancer very soon so let's just wait for that for intestines you're going to go and study minimum minimum is your spring meckles intussusceptions appendicitis and appendicular masses ibd is important inflammatory bowel disorder is very important crohn's and ulcerative colitis you have to do it same in the table uh, table differentiating manner hemorrhoids fistula in anus and intestinal polyps have their importance as well uh, although not asked so frequently but out of these three topics you know one topics often just like they won't ask you one question from this one question from this and one question from this but out of these three there are high probability that they'll ask minimum minimum one question so be prepared for that 
नेक्स्ट इज योर गोल ब्लैडर ऑल पैथोलॉजीज ऑफ गोल ब्लैडर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट गोल स्टोन गोल ब्लैडर कैंसर एवरी थिंग वर एवर यू कैन रीड इन गोल ब्लैडर गो इथ थरली बिकॉज गोल ब्लैडर इज रियली रीड इन नेक्स्ट वॉट यू हैव इज ट्रामा यू कैन नॉट मिस ट्रामा एंड गो टू योर एग्जाम इवन दो इवन इफ यू डोंट स्टडी सर्जरी दिस इज दिस इज अ मंत्रा एम टेल यू ट्रामा नहीं पढ़ा तो एग्जाम में बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन गलत होने के चांसेस हैं एंड यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू को रिलेट मेनी थिंग्स ट्रामा तो पढ़ना ही पढ़ना है यू हैव टू रीड ट्रामा सो बेसिक्स ऑफ ट्रामा इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक बेसिक मैनेजमेंट वट इज़ अ प्रोटोकॉल ए टी आर एस प्रोटोकॉल एंड दोज थिंग्स द प्रैक्टिकल स्टफ एंड देन इन एबडामिनल ट्रामा फास्ट एंड ई फास्ट हैज़ बिकम द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक लाइक हॉट स्पॉट काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स दिस डेज दे टेंड टू आस्क अबाउट फास्ट एंड ई फास्ट लॉर ऑफ इमेजिंग कम्स फ्राम दीज टॉपिक्स लाइक इफ यू कैन रीड इट फ्राम रेडियोलॉजी एज वेल then that will help you a lot like club your radiology ka trauma science and symptoms sorry i mean science the radiological science and stuff with your surgery you will cover these two subjects together then it will like retain better in your mind and you will have a better retention like if you will have horizontal and vertical kind strategy of reading or studying a topic then it's going to stay for a very long time so do that then thoracic trauma of course very important flail chest tension pneumothorax normal pneumothorax like simple pneumothorax difference between both of those and the emergency procedures you have to speed everything in trauma you cannot miss trauma and go head trauma they often ask for one question from head trauma every exam every every exam there is one diffuse axonal injuries there uh, edh is there sdh is there you have to read head trauma thoroughly plus scars they uh, there because there are a lot of image based question these days so they often tend often get to ask one of those scars either they'll give you a hypertrophic scar picture or a keloid scar picture and they'll ask you some question regarding it so be prepared for that go thoroughly through these topics and you'll be good for exam last what i was telling you is gastric cancer a uh, thing which you have to have to read if i have to tell you to one read one thing and one thing only in gastric cancer this would be this list because this is very important they often in every exam not even in fmg in fmg neat pg inict jipma name the exam name name the exam and they ask every year one question every alternate year minimum one question out of this slide only which is the atypical presentation of gastric cancer in which sister mary joseph nabil fielding asked so many times oh my god and they still love it and they still ask it so if you are missing this out then i don't know so please um, the like the point of telling you it like this is that you cannot miss on it so don't get worried if you haven't studied this now good thing you are here and you're watching this video and thank god i included this in the slide like specifically in this slide in case you don't know about this all these things you have to know it. please go and um, make a short note and it will finish in like half a page and revise it twice or thrice please before your exam so yes so krutenberg's tumor irish nodule virchow's nodule dermoschel trozet syndrome trozet syndrome is not trozet sign okay so just make sure that you remember all these things all these things are really important so now what we have in the end is the terms to know in burn topic you have to know the terms and term signs term like named signs named surgical procedures and name syndromes these are the i yield points which often get to us so pedialistic attitude you will read those in forensic as well if you have read it in forensic awesome if you haven't please read in surgery jones burn it's important as well because of electric uh current boxes ear and boxes hematoma don't get confused please read both of these pedigree burns is also very important a question get asked uh, in either in text form or in image based form here and there very frequently so go through all these terms and do look their pictures because image based questions come from these as well the next is other important name stuff will be thimble bladder putty kidney of course all the named hernias rectus amens litters copers sliding rolling every kind of hernia you have to know the name hernia is important guys all the name signs double bubble triple bubble tram track right these signs are really important anything which is named is very important i'm telling this over and over again so 
uh, before moving on further what i was saying is we have to if we if you tell me um, that so if you don't suppose if it's me go giving for exam and i didn't study surgery very well so and if i have only one day to finish it what will i do will i do everything what i said from the beginning gi euro general trauma breast in one day i don't think so that will be possible this this topics are to be done this in this manner if you have minimum minimum 3 days of time if you only have one day time then what would you do i would tell you one thing that if you have just one day don't do other things and do it from here do your trauma very important do your gastric cancer this thing half a page 15 minutes tops okay if you have done it once it will never stops if you haven't done it once half an hour to understand and write all those things then 15 minutes to revise within one maximum one hour no matter how studious or non studious you are you'll be done it and done with this in one hour next all the terms in burn topics and the other places like flip through the pages and mark everything which is named and revise that in one day if you have only one day what you going to do trauma this thing gastric cancer atypical presentation all the name things name signs whatever you can see just name things do it very well then this this one and that one and you will be done in one day and at least you would not be losing like you will not be marking one or two right questions only in surgery you would have a good enough uh, number of questions correct if you do at least this so once again please do those five things i hope you have three days to revise your surgery because surgery is very important don't miss on it is very high scoring as well so yeah that's it i think for surgery um, all i wanted to tell you is these things and uh, if you want to get in touch with me for any of your query if uh, if you want any kind of suggestion or anything you can always reach me out on uh, shinya19 which is my instagram handle in which i post um, uh, things which i feel are high yield and which will help you in cracking the exam see like this the needles and the namings and stuff like that image based questions and some flash card series i also started the flash card series as well to help you revise frequently and easily so yes you can reach me out or you can you can put in the comment box as well i would uh, try my best to reply all the comments i usually reply all the comments i take out my time and reply all the comments so if you have any query any suggestion i'm open to suggestions as well please write to me and thank you so much for giving your time and your trust in me and we can and we will that's all i wanted to say in the end as an fmg i have done it you can do it too and we will get to this thank you so much let's meet in our next video